Hello my loves, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to my mini speed build slash tour of my Creekside Modern House. Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video which is a mini speed build with a tour of my Creekside Modern House that I built in Oasis Springs. If you want to add this home to your gameplay, you can because it is available in the Sim Tour Gallery. You can search for it using my origin ID which is Simply Obsessed 28 or you can search for it using hashtag Simply Obsessed but in the description box below you'll find a link that will take you directly to the gallery posting for this build. Uh, now I decided to do a mini speed build with a tour for this build because it took me a really long time and I wanted you guys to get a good look at the interior without everything going super fast and me switching from working on the interior to the exterior then having things just spin around really fast. I wanted you guys to get a good look at this build I think I'm going to have continue this style of showing off builds for my next few videos it depends on how the the footage is to be honest because if I'm doing a lot of twisting and turning and I'm really indecisive during a build I don't want you guys to just sit there and just watch the screen spin around and watch me go through each and every uh, swatch for the little items that I place like so even though I could edit that out still I think that if I build like that I'd rather you guys get a tour hopefully I'll be a more decisive builder <laughs> and it won't take me super duper long um, but for this build I I think I think it took me about six hours and that's because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the layout and I wasn't really sure what type of furnishings I wanted to use so yeah I was just swishing and swapping and twisting and turning so I decided to give you guys a tour so uh, basically the main part that I want you guys to see for the speed build portion is uh, me working on the exterior just creating the outward the outside design of the house and then uh, trying to figure out the layout for downstairs the downstairs layout is pretty simple there's a half wall and then there's some stairs and then next to those stairs will be a kitchen but you guys will see that in the tour um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this speed build portion I'm gonna hop into the game and give you guys a tour of the finished version version of my Creekside Modern House. Alrighty guys, here we are in game in Oasis Springs, just outside of my modern Creekside home. Before we go ahead and look at all the things on the inside, I want you guys to get a look at the exterior of this build. Now, when I think of modern homes, I don't think of a lot of extra stuff going on landscaping wise, so I decided to keep the landscaping for this build, uh, keep it at a minimum, didn't want to do too much, so I have a couple of cactus plants in the front there are some flowers and uh, that's about it I didn't want to go overboard with it and I was thinking if you keep this home in Oasis Springs your surroundings really help make this build pop there's palm trees there's boulders it's it's a beautiful desert scene so I didn't want to go overboard on this lot but if you place this lot in Oasis Springs I think the surroundings um, really help make this uh, this build pop so this is a quick view of uh, the the, the front of the house, the, the main entryway. And uh, one of the things that I love about this main entryway has to be the mailbox. <laughs> I love that modern mailbox. And uh, this little light here that I'm using as a house number. I had been watching a couple speed builds and I had noticed that a lot of builders were using little lights as fake house numbers. So I decided to uh, use that idea for this build. I love the mailbox and the little house number. Those are my two favorite details uh, for the exterior of this home now let's go ahead and look at the side not much going on the side not much going on in the back not much going on on the other side uh, but in the back I originally wanted to have a little uh, grilling area you know a little uh, seating a bench a little grill something like that but I decided not to do that because I was in love with using these windows that you see here and for me to add a little uh, 
barbecue area, I would have to have a door that leads here. And I wanted it to be a sliding glass door. It couldn't have been any other door. It had to be a sliding glass door. But unfortunately, the window height is a lot taller than the door that I was going to use. And I didn't like the way it looked. It looked kind of wonky, so I decided not to do that. So I just stuck a couple trash cans uh, back here. It's it's not a glamorous <laughs> uh, back, uh, back area, but it, it works. There's a couple trash cans here. If you guys want to switch it up and add some things to this area, I think you guys have uh, have plenty of room. And if you look beyond the house, you see this little creek, which is why I call this home the modern creekside house. Now, the house that was here originally, the pre-made house that was uh, on this lot originally was the agave abode. And I really love that house. I mean, it's a, it's not very glamorous because it's a, it's a plain house, you know, it was created in game but I love the location and I love how you have a little creek in the back uh, back area and with that house you don't really have much of a backyard area um, as well but I just I just love this this particular lot I love the location I love the scenery and I love the water in the back now let's just go ahead and take a look at the inside of this home so I'm going to actually let me bring all everything up and uh, let me go ahead and go into tab oops <laughs> I always mess up but let me go into tab and then work our way through this front door so this is a close-up shot of the cactus plants the house number sign mailbox there we go all right so let's go in through the front door and once you walk in to your right you're greeted by some artwork coat rack a little ottoman seating area with the plant really simple not too much going on there you see the stairs that lead you up to the second floor and then on the left you see a little office area there's some artwork umbrella stand a little pet bed I originally imagined the sim having this house um, owning a cat but I couldn't figure out where to put the litter box in the cat condo and all that and so I just decided to have this home belong to a dog loving sim. One of my regrets uh, for this build is not making it slightly larger because I could not figure out where to put um, a litter box and all that and I didn't want to stick it in the hallway so I just decided to make this the home of a, of a dog lover. But this is the little office area using items that came with the freelancer update, the desk, the chair, the bookshelves, and uh, some of the core that's on the desk. Those are items that came from the the freelancers update and to the right of the office area is the living room so you have the living room and the kitchen and then if you turn around some more you see the stairs that lead you up up to the uh, the second floor now this wall that divides the office area well this wall that has the office area the fireplace and the TV in the center in this part right here I wanted to add something I wanted to add artwork or a statue or something but I could not figure out what to put there so I just left it alone I just figure it's best to to put nothing than to put something and then hate the way it looks and then have you know the room and the space look off or cluttered I don't know what I I don't know I just couldn't figure out what to put there um, but it's a it's still a nice area it's kind of plain in that section right there but I, I think it works so this is the living room nice flat screen TV fireplace got your Lindsay speaker and a thermostat in the back and uh, here is the kitchen area now the kitchen area kind of goes into why I wish this build was slightly bigger I hate the fact that this little pet bowl is tucked away right here next to the trash can if this build was slightly bigger I could have had uh, the pet items laid out the way I wanted I wanted to have two pet bowls and uh, some of the uh, decor from cats and dogs in this kitchen but it just wasn't it was there wasn't enough space uh, but I'm loving this kitchen my favorite thing about this the kitchen has to be the flooring that came with I want to say get famous I think it pairs so well with the counters and the lights I'm really loving this kitchen is super proud of it nice view of the uh, back area really wish that this one of these windows could have been a sliding glass door uh, but it is what it is you still have a nice view and I'm in love with this kitchen so let's go into the kitchen and take a look at the living room area this is what you see from the kitchen, living room area, 
office space and then there are the stairs that take you up to the second floor. Let's go on up. There we go. So these stairs lead you to the second floor. Some natural light coming in. Oops. Some natural light coming. Oh goodness. <laughs> Let me go back down. There you go. Some natural light coming in from these windows. And this area is kind of plain. Again, I didn't really know what to put in here. I had the idea of having it be like a little home gym area, maybe a punching bag or a yoga mat or something. But I didn't like the way it looks. I just thought it was kind of off to have a gym area in the hallway. I think that was, a, I just thought that was a little weird. So I just decided to keep this place clean and bland, threw up some, some artwork, well not bland, but just simple. Threw up some artwork and there's a plant. And uh, yeah, what would you guys put in this space here? I could not figure out what to put here. I wanted the gym, I was gonna put like a little reading area or a seating, but none of it looked right to me. But I would love to know, what would you guys uh, put in this area right here? Now we're gonna go through uh, this door, this door on the left. This door leads you to the bedroom. Now for the bedroom, I didn't want it to be bright and colorful. I wanted it to be cool, calm, and dark. There is a TV in here. I don't really put TVs in my bedrooms too often, but I threw in a TV in here. But for the overall feel of this room, I wanted it to be cool and dark because you know you just come up here to sleep and relax I didn't want it to be too bright and busy there's only one window here that gives you enough natural light but that's about it I love the bed I really love this bed that came with seasons because I love the detailing um, and the comforter like the little puffs and wrinkles I just I just love that so this is the view of the bedroom you come over here you got your lamp there's a bookshelf some plants and there's the TV and then you have the hamper, mirror, and the wardrobe. Now for the hamper, I used a decor hamper because there's no laundry room <laughs> in this home and it didn't make sense to just use one item from laundry day if there wasn't going to be a washer and dryer so I just used the decor hamper and uh, before we go through this door let me give you a quick little view of the bedroom again loving this artwork during my uh, parenthood not parenthood my best legacy LP a couple days ago I had them uh, Margo and Lance the, the two main sims in that LP episode I had them visit the art gallery in San Mashuno and I had said how I love these uh, pieces of art but I never use them so I made sure that I put them to good use in this build uh, but here's another little view of the bedroom now let's go ahead and go through this door which leads you to the bathroom I love the bathroom I am not the best at building bathrooms because there's such tiny spaces and you don't really spend much time there you don't really look at them that often but I'm proud of what I came up with for this uh, bathroom I'm using the same flooring that came with get famous that you guys will find in the kitchen and this sink came with seasons and I want to say that light came with spa day there's uh, a little robe hanging up over the hamper a towel shower toilet wall art plants <laughs> really really simple bathroom I love the colors I wanted to use a uh, natural tone so I chose to go with brown and tan and I think it it ties together pretty nicely and if you go through this door here this leads you to the hallway area so you come up the stairs and you're in this hallway area you see two doors the door on the right takes you directly to the bathroom and then the door on the left takes you to the bedroom and then you can get to the bathroom through this door right here because I didn't want guests to be in this house having to go through the bedroom to get to the bathroom I thought that would have been weird you know having people go through your bedroom and um, yeah that's pretty much it for this home it took me a really long time you guys it took me about six hours six to eight hours to build this house over a couple of days of course not in one sitting so I would just build a little bit take a break I was watching TV distracted by TV um, take a break come back to it and I, I love this build. I'm really proud of it. I want to improve and become a better builder and I think experimenting with modern builds is a good way to improve because 
you know it's just a lot of squares like you, there's a lot of clean lines but the thing about that is the layout for modern houses is kind of difficult at least for me like layouts in general are kind of difficult but when you have a modern build that's basically a square you have to figure out how the walls go and where which room you want to have where like layouts are, are difficult um, for me anyway and I think that I want to get to be a better builder and I love building modern houses but I'm gonna have to try to experiment with other styles as well um, to improve my layouts and things like that but you know I'm, I'm proud of this house I want to toot my own horn a little bit I'm proud of it I hope that you guys like it as well here's another view of the outside and let me see let's go down and tab mode <laughs> there you go so this is the view of the first floor there you go, office area, dining room, kitchen, and let's go up to the second floor, bedroom, bathroom, empty hallway, <laughs> really wish I could have figured out what to do with that space, and uh, yeah, so that's it for the this little mini speed build slash tour for my modern Creekside home. I hope that you guys enjoyed this build and this video. If you did, please give this video a big ol' thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think they might want to check out this house. And uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to receive upload notifications for my future uploads. And um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this build. I can't wait to do another one. I'm going to try to build at least two houses a week to um, improve my building skills and to have more um, builds on this channel. So I'm going to try to build at least two houses a week to get better and to have uh, some more content for you guys. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.